Today, we are going to talk about the changes that you've been seeing on Instagram. Now, I don't know about you, but most of the time I use my mobile device to be social media. I check your feed, I interact with you via my phone. So when there's changes that I notice on Instagram, it's usually when I notice it on the cell phone. that I've noticed last week when I was away was actually how they changed the format of your feed. If you notice that in, in the past, Instagram, no matter you go onto your mobile device or your desktop version, you always see this 10, 1080 by 1080 square picture for your post. And last week, Instagram decided to change. So instead of having the 1080 times 1080, those of you who use Canva, you might notice the dimension for the post. It's 1080 times 1080. They change the look, the layout of your Instagram, and they change it to a portrait mode. A portrait is a little bit narrower and it's a little bit longer. I can't remember the exact dimension. I think it's 1094 by 720. So it makes it look almost like a video format. So it's formatted on your mobile device with a longer version rather than the square picture that you usually and typically see. But what does that mean to you as a content creator, as a coach trying to build your visibility? Well, number one is we all know Instagram is huge on the aesthetic look of how it is presented, right? So in the past, maybe you have some kind of grit that was going on, you wanted to make it beautiful. So some posts are, are intentionally, you just graphically make it all look pretty. And now because they change the layout, you might have to adjust the way that your overall layout look. And that was kind of shocking to me because I'm used to creating posts that's 1080 by 1080. And now all of a sudden my words get cut off from this end to that end. I don't know about you, my perfectionist is driving me nuts <laughs> because I want everything to be front and center. And so you'll notice if you go and follow my Instagram and in case you want to follow me and I hope you do follow me, it's at Elevate Life Coach. Go follow me on Instagram. There's a lot of good stuff that I'm also sharing on Instagram. Although I would say that majority of my time that I spend are going to be on Facebook. Facebook, it just has my heart. But you can go and check out my Instagram. I just dropped the, the, the link into the chat and I'll make sure that no matter where you're watching this video from, you always have that link if you wanted to go and follow me. So go follow me. That's what I'm telling you, go follow me. So this whole week, I changed my layout from the 1080 by 1080 to actually the portrait mode. But that's just one of the change I've noticed over the last 30 days while being on Instagram. Even if you're on my Facebook personal, you might have noticed I've been doing a lot of reels. And so there's a reason behind it, right? So if this is something that I'm teaching you inside my course, inside my program, of course, I'm going to be the first person to test it out. And I want to just like test out different platform because I know a lot of you are on Instagram, you use Instagram. So I wanted to make sure that you get the first hand information from me since I'm going to be teaching you. And so I did a test for the last 30 days to produce more reels. <laughs> And for some reason, and this is another reason why you would go to follow me on my Instagram. For some reason, the most random things, okay, I don't dance. I don't dance on my reel. So the most random things that you create on your Instagram reel will actually get a good uh, reach. <laughs> so you'll notice I've been doing a lot of coffee posting, me with a drink, or me making a smoothie, like the video down below. I just did a video about me making a smoothie. Those tend to perform really well. I don't know what's up with people, but when I get all serious, when I'm talking, no one likes to watch it, but when I'm actually doing something funny and almost like to the point of humiliating myself, <laughs> people love it and enjoy it. So you know what? I'm all in. <laughs> so if you are afraid, if you're someone who's hesitating because you don't want to be on the camera or you are someone who needs to practice more speaking before you actually do the talking it, 
worry not because there's get around, right? There's always work around to be producing reels and being on the video. So like me, I just randomly decided, you know what? I'm going to do some coffee and pour some coffee because I do coffee all the time, which I do love coffee. And those actually perform really well. So I did this experiment for the last 30 days. And here's what I discovered. Those of you who are struggling to grow an audience, grow a social media follower, let's say you have 200 followers on your Instagram and all of them are just your friends and family or you're really struggling to get out there and to get noticed. Here's what I would encourage you to do is actually don't create any posts and just give yourself this challenge of creating reels for the next 30 days you're going to create reels for the next 30 days. And like I said, you don't have to do the talking head, right? You can be creative. You can create some stock photo, but whatever that you do, create reels. And of course you want to be like making it valuable. It could be quote, it could be tips, and you can go check out my Instagram for ideas of how I do it. But what you want to do is you want to dedicate those 30 days and just creating real. I'll tell you why you need to do that because this is what I have discovered. What I have discovered is that your reel will reach people who's not following you. Okay. You'll notice that over the last 30 days, this is just 30 days span, right? So 30 day, I reach 15,000 account and out of those 15,000 majority of them were not the people who's currently following me. Okay. So the people who are following me are only about 300 people who saw my reel. The rest of the people who don't know who I am, who have never encountered me in their life, those encompass the majority of the people who's seen the reel. What does that mean to you? That means that if you're trying to grow an audience, you're trying to build that authority, you're trying to get it, get yourself out there in front of more people, what you want to do is you want to create more reels because the reels are being seen by your non-follower. Means additional to the 200 friends and family that you have all these other people who have never heard about you and they are the one who's seeing your reels, okay? That's great news for those of you who's trying to build and grow your audience, right? Because then now you have a way to reach out to them and you can be in front of them by creating and focusing on the real. Now the post, okay. If I were to uh, show you the data on the post, the post is not that great here. Let me just show you again. Let's see again. So the second bar is for the post, right? The post didn't really get to anywhere. And that has to do with the algorithm. It has to do with the people who's hanging out and who never saw my feed. And it's just not a very effective way to reach and build your audience. And we're focusing on building and expanding your reach here, right? We're not talking about like, oh, get them to comment or like, we're just talking about being in front of the people who don't know you. And so I did this experiment for the last 30 days just by creating real. And I did that consistently and consistency is another key here. You want to do it consistently and you'll be surprised like how much it actually reaches. So that's another change that I have noticed that Instagram is actually helping. And so the way that the algorithm has changed is that your reels has these almost the same amount of opportunity to be in front of people as those who have big accounts. So you no longer have to worry about whether or not you have a big account. It's going to push out your reel just as it is. If you have a good quality reel, obviously people would like it and you have more engagement on it. But that is probably something that I wanted to share with you, especially those of you who's trying to grow your Instagram account. Okay. There's other changes that Instagram had brought in and some of them you probably might have noticed that you can add a little note uh, to your follower. So if you go to your profile, there's a little uh, dialog box next to your profile picture that you can add a little status to inform your follower what you're doing. So for example, just now I wrote that I'm going to live on my Instagram and that's going to be seen by your followers. So if you're doing something amazing and you want to uh, draw attention, your current follower, what you can do is you can type in that note and that's going to show up and it's going to be available and get seen by the people who's already following you.
Okay, and there are so many different changes. So I'm just gonna come up here and give you some like quick tip, tangible tips on how you can grow your visibility, how you can expand your reach. We talked about how the layout has changed. Now, Instagram is still very aesthetic. So if you are still using the post format, so the 1080 by 1080, you might wanna consider changing it to the portrait mode because your phone is going to display very differently. Some of the text that you put onto the post may get cut off for that reason. Okay, so that's something that you might want to keep in, keep in the back of your mind when you're doing the Canva, when you're making your graphic, keep that in the back of your mind. That has changed, especially on your mobile device. On the desktop, it's still the square version, okay? The mobile version has changed. And I'll give you another tip. Majority of people who's following you, who's checking out your social media, who following your account, they're probably using the cell phone too. So you might want to be conscious about like the aesthetic look of your overall Instagram feed. The second thing that I've noticed, especially for the last 30 days, is that my reel is performing better than my post. And the reel is really intended for growing your account. So if you have very small following, I would challenge you to do a 30 day reel challenge. And let me know, right? So be sure to follow me and tag me. If you're doing this real challenge, tag me so I can go and celebrate you. The link is in the chat. It's instagram.com forward slash elevate life coach. You can go and follow me or you can tag me when you're doing this challenge. But I would challenge you if you want to focus on growing your account, do the 30 day real challenge and see what happened with your account. Okay. And then the third thing that I talked about was the new change that you'll notice on your profile. There's a little dialogue box, which you can inform your current follower, not the people who's not following you, but your current follower, you'll be able to notify them whatever that you're doing currently. Maybe you're going live somewhere or you're going live on Instagram. You can send me a little nudge and they'll see the note on your little profile. So. There's my discovery over the last 30 days. And of course, if I'm going to teach you about how to create content in, on social media and getting more clients, you bet I'll be the first one to jump in and to uh, test these things out. Now, I do know that a lot of what you do on social media can be very overwhelming. And sometimes when you're first starting out, you might not know exactly where to begin, which is why I created a checklist. Okay, so all you need to do is just comment down below or send me a DM if, in either way. Just comment down below, checklist. Here, I'll show you because I know there's a lot of tests that you have to do. So I have created a checklist for you that you can follow and simply checking off as you are going through and making your content. Okay, you can follow that checklist and knowing that you're not missing a step and you're actually making every minute of your time spending on social media actually is measurable. Actually, it's going to lead you to a paying client so that you're not like all over the place and trying to figure out exactly what do I do next. So all you have to do is just comment down below, checklist, and I will make sure that you get a copy of it. And again, if you're trying to grow your audience on Instagram, Real is performing really well. And what I encourage you to do is actually do a real challenge, right? And tag me, Elevate Life Coach on Instagram. And I want to be there and celebrate you. It's in one additional push for your algorithm. So be sure to tag me. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And comment checklist, I'll give you the checklist. Okay. And I will see you all next time and let me know if there's any topic that you would like to hear. I'm happy to bring it to you. Something that would be tangible, something that you can use and practice. All right. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next week. Bye.